in general, I would say like dragons are usually my favorite creatures, but there are a lot of creatures in the world that are that are super cool. That are super cool. I have um, I have a pet with me, which is a little tiger, and uh, and I love the fact that you can have pets that are doing absolutely nothing sometimes, but it's just cool to have them. Uh, and then all the weird creatures around are just nice, but not high elves. What keeps me playing? The passion for video games. I think that it's never too late to play. Uh, it kind of helps your memory and the way you think about things. Uh, I've, been, I've been asked so many times, like, oh, why do you, why do you play? Because you're not a kid anymore. I think that is very important to keep the kid you have inside alive forever, because this is the only way to stay mentally healthy and enjoy life in general. Because if you're happy, if you, and playing video games makes me happy, you're happy with everyone surrounding you, so why not? Every day is completely different according to what I'm doing. If I am on tour, uh, every day looks pretty much the same because we wake up, we go check the venue, we see that everything is on place, and then it's all about sound checking, uh, preparing all the stage clothes and the stuff that we need for the show. Uh, then sometimes we meet some fans, so sometimes we, we do interviews and then you eat a little something. So every day is, is pretty much like this up until showtime. When I'm home is completely different because I get really reclusive because I see people every time and I am a people person, 100%. But at the same time, when I'm home chilling, I just want to relax at my home. I play a lot of video games. Sometimes I, I stay up until like three, four in the morning uh, playing and then I wake up, you know, I don't want to have any, any alarm set. I just, I just wake up whenever I want to. I eat a little something. I see my friends. I do a lot of dinners out. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, my lifestyle changes like from here to here when I'm on tour and when I'm home. Gaming on tour can be very impractical because we have a couple of consoles on, on the bus. But it gets really crowded, really noisy, so some people want to sleep, some other people want to party, so either one or another, it's kind of complicated to, to play video games because the TV is always busy and uh, sometimes it's just hard to reach a console. So I like much better to play at home when you can kind of live into the video games 100%. On tour, it is pretty difficult to find time. And um, I just like better to find my own time to play instead of like playing in the, in the chaos. I, live, I, I like to be completely surrounded by gaming mood. <laughs> when I log in and I don't have a lot of time, it depends because uh, sometimes I, I like to do the daily quests just because I, I want some rewards or I just like to check what the other guys are doing, the other guys on, online doing. Uh, but most of the times I like to wander around to see the, the scenery, the, the, um, the, the new characters, and to talk with some of the characters you can interact with. So there is so much stuff to do, and there is always a lot of new stuff to do, so it's never really, it's never really boring all the time. I get, I get lost because my sense of um, direction is very poor. So even if you know exactly where you have to go, I tend to get distracted by creatures and I turn around and I think I'm going in this direction while I'm going to the other direction. So I'm really bad in that. <laughs> and maybe I'm following the arrow and I end up in the same place I was half an hour before. So uh, I really suck on this. I cannot really call myself a fantasy fan because a real fantasy fan knows everything. You have no idea how many people I've, I've met that are so passionate about it that they remember every name of every character, every town, every world, every universe. They know all the progression of the story and I'm not good in that. Uh, I can call myself a fan of the fantasy um, art because of the visual, because I enjoy it very much. I find it extremely creative, and sometimes it blows up 
my mind to think that somebody can come up with such good stories and, and creation of games so beautiful, so vast. It's unbelievable. I like my character very much because, as I said, you can completely personalize your character. So, hate, uh, breast, everything, uh, the face, the tattoos, uh, the, uh, the weapons that you have, the armors, everything. And it's so cool because it's like seeing a better version of you on the screen. And my character is super cool because I love the gray ash colored skin, I love my red eyes, it even has sort of a sign that I do on my eyes when I perform live. It's very similar to me, but better.